shark a shark? This story has a, has a lot of teeth, and I lost the tooth right here. All right, hark a shark. And this book you got from your friend, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Your friend Paul. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what we can learn about sharks here. You see all right? Mm -hmm. I'm the cat in the hat. And for more than a lark, would you care to go to a brand new kind of park? In a super shark tank that is like a small sea, we will visit with sharks. Do you dare come with me? Sharks seem very scary to us, it is true, but most sharks are really no danger to you. People fear sharks, and that's mostly because of films that star sharks with big snapping jaws. But give sharks a chance, and I think you will find they will dazzle your eyes and broaden your mind. See this wonderful boat bobbing here in the water? It's my super stupendous ship shape shark spotter. Ooh, try to say that three times fast. For tracking down sharks, it's the best, don't you know? So hop on board and shark spotting will go. Over 400 species swim the seas today. Let's visit with some of them. Anchors away. I, is that hard for all of you to see? Uh, I would like to go. I'm doing my best here. Okay, let's see. All right, so we don't agree with this part, so we crossed it out. But sharks were, we believe that sharks were made on day five, and most dinosaurs came on day six. Fossils of shark teeth simply abound. More than 200 species to date have been found. Look at all those teeth they're finding. But we never find bones. Back up here so brother can see. Because sharks don't have those. Sharks are made of cartilage, just like your nose. And, and your ears. ears. That's right, mm -hmm. That's, it moves. Sh cartilage helps sharks to turn and bend and to move through the water much faster, my friend. <coughs> like a brave knight's <coughs> thick suit of mail, you're my gallant knight. A shark's skin protects it almost without fail. Stroke the skin from head to tail. It's smooth, you will see. Stroke the skin from tail to head, and it's as rough as can be. That's because it has denticles. Hard, toothy stuff that lies flat for swimming, but makes the skin tough. Doesn't that kind of look like a dragon armor too? Mm -hmm. Yeah. A whale skin gets dirty and gunky, you see, but a shark skin stays clean and is nearly gunk free. It's tough and it's rough and it's sleek and it's clean. Shark skin is unlike anything you've ever seen. These fake shark skin suits help swimmers to swim. He got first prize. Human skin grafts are grown from shark skin. Oh my. Because what if? If somebody needs new skin to grow. And gunk falls right off the shark spotter's side because of a paint that is rough like a shark hide. Looking for shark's teeth? There are plenty. You know why? Most sharks have a nearly an unending supply. What if you had an unending supply of teeth? Huh? From a jaw made of bone, your human teeth grow. Shark teeth grow from gums row after row. Right. When a tooth becomes loose or else gets a bad crack, it'll soon be replaced with a tooth in the back. What type of food will your average shark choose? Most sharks hunt for meat when they're out for a cruise. Great white's teeth are sharp for tearing and munching. Horn shark's teeth are flat for crun crushing and crunching. Are our teeth sharp or flat? Sharp. Well, yours are because you still have little baby teeth. 
and your two little teeth are. But no, our teeth are flat. See? For crunching. They're both. Yeah. Our teeth can't catch things. If something was running away from you and you tried to catch it with your mouth, you wouldn't do a very good job. But if you wanted to crunch into something like a juicy apple, your teeth are perfect for that. This shark you see here might fill you with awe, but the tiniest teeth fill its giant maw. A maw is a mouth. It's the largest shark you will ever meet. We measured it and it is 40 feet. Ooh, do you know what it is? What? There's the sign. It says this is called a whale shark. I thought so. Mm -hmm. Me too. What is our giant friend's favorite dish? Plants and animals called plankton. And wee tiny fish. Look how tiny its food is that it eats. But why is it so tiny with its teeth? Just like whales. <coughs> whales eat plankton as well. But why is it so, why does it eat something so little when it's a huge plankton? Because there's enough of the plankton for it to eat to still get all its nummy food. That's how God designed it. When a shark swims along, its mouth open wide, water that comes in goes out the gills on the side. Its tail beats the water and swings side to side. See how smoothly this leopard shark here seems to glide? This right here it says is called a pectoral fin on the sides, like an airplane wing. Pectoral <coughs> fins lift, I've been thinking, like two airplane wings to keep sharks from sinking. Dorsal fins on the top, see there's the dorsal fin, stand up and are ready to keep the sharks upright swimming even and steady. With its wide pectorals on the side, the angel shark lies flat and as still as a rug. Would you just look at that? It is so still you might think that it's just napping. Then suddenly look, its strong jaws are snapping. Ooh. Oh yeah, you're strong too. Yes, you are. The shark comes equipped with a keen inner ear that senses wherever its prey might be near. See, look right behind the eye, itty bitty ear. Mm -hmm. And there, <coughs> you would think that that's a nostril, but that's not what it's called. And the nostril-like holes that sit under its snout sniff out prey that's lurking about. The name that we give these two little holes is nares. It's helpful to know that the word rhymes with fairies. Nurse sharks have whiskers, and what are they for? These whiskers carved barbels sweep the sea floor. These whiskery gizmos do not go to waste. The shark uses them to feel and to taste. Now look at this. There's a line of pores along a shark's side. These pores are like sensors set in the shark's hides. They pick up vibrations from prey all around, cluing the sharks to where their prey can be found. Most sharks, as a rule, have keen eyesight. Their eyes can see well in both dim and bright light. The puff adder sh sky shark's long tail whips around and helps it hide from predators, shark experts have found. <coughs> Ooh, I like these guys. The hammerhead shark's range of sight overlaps, giving it much better vision, perhaps. We're not quite sure yet. Wow. But who needs sharp eyes way down deep in the murk where this rare goblin shark's nose does all the work? Look at that huge nose. Wow. This is pointy as a carrot. <laughs> pointy as a carrot. You're right about that. <clears throat> pointy as a narwhal's tusk or a swordfish. I like the way he hides like that. Yeah. <laughs> Some sharks are hatched out of eggs in a case that is hidden by mom in a very safe place. Some shark eggs hatch inside of mom and then thrive on egg yolk until they're big enough to survive. Lemon sharks, like us, 
as I've just read, grow in their mom's bodies where they're safe <coughs> and fed. Like humans. Yep, just like right. us. This pup, did you know that shark babies are called pups? Is born live, rests a bit, and then harp. Off it goes on its own. That's the life of a shark. Wow. Thing two has come up with the most clever verse. An empty egg case is called a mermaid's purse. Mine. That's what they decided to call it. They said it looked like a purse. Tagging is how we have learned very much about many sharks' habits and movements as such. Lemon sharks get tagged and do not seem to mind. Other sharks mind it plenty, I think you will find. Tags offer data, like this bit for instance. A blue shark can swim a very long distance. <coughs> Look, from New York all the way down to Brazil. In 16 months time from New York, it will swim 4,000 miles to far off Brazil. Wow. Mm -hmm. The things are now holding a shark spotter contest to reward each shark here for what it does best. The whale shark, as we already know, is the biggest. We've said this before. The smallest, the dwarf lantern shark, about eight inches, no more. The fastest is Mako, it's a speed whiz. The wobble gong might be the slowest that there is. What sort of shark is this that I spot? It looks like a thresher shark here, does it not? It has a long tail. See how the tail swishes? To round up its dinner, a mouthful of fishes. The tiger shark isn't fussy. It'll eat anything, a clock or a stool or a rusty bed spring. It's the least fussy eater. Oh my, those, those are not nutritious things to eat. <laughs> the cookie cutter shark with its big teeth rips neat, perfect circles sucked free with its lips. Neatest bite, ouch. The spiny dogfish, just call him granddad, lives as long as some humans. That's some life he's had. The longest living shark. The mega mouth attacks prey. It glows in the dark. The light works as a lure for the deep water shark. Ooh, it's making a light. So, and if he's eating jellyfish, ew. He has the reward for the brightest smile. These white tip reef sharks sometimes swim in packs and hunt as a team for their favorite snacks. They get the best teamwork award. Wow, look at this guy. The spinner shark here confuses its prey by spinning its body in a dizzying way. It gets the coolest move award. The great white looks deadly upon close inspection, but it may be in danger without our protection. This one gets the award for the most feared. Our visit is over, but hold on, not quite. Let's spend some more time with the deadly great white. The great white is simply a hunting machine. Watch it at work and you'll see what I mean. Dark on its top side and lighter below, it can sneak up no matter the angle you know. They are in what's called a shark cage. You're in there and you can watch the sharks, but the sharks can't get you. Its jaws jut out far, the better to grip. Its teeth are made so as to bite and to rip. Its head shakes hard to loosen and snatch. Its eyes roll far back, avoiding a scratch doesn't want to get his eyes scratched. Yeah. If you swim where it's safe, sharks will leave you be. You will stay as safe as on land you will see. Around this hard fact, I will not haw or hem. Sharks should fear us more than we do them. Sharks are in danger. This I will repeat. People hunt them down for sport and for meat, for oil and for their remarkable skins. And let's not forget their dorsal fins. Why are they taking their dorsal fins? That's not good, is it? That's horrible. Why do they want their dorsal fins? That's something we can <clears throat> learn about later. But what they need it for, mm -hmm. they don't need it for. The sharks need their dorsal fins, right? We don't. People are not the shark's natural prey. But too many people think it's that way. They want to get sharks before sharks get us. 
Let's speak for the sharks and stir up a fuss. Do your bit to help. Here's what you might say to shark fin soup supper. Just say, yuck, no way. Do not go shark fishing just for a lark. Let's let the sharks be. Right here. Yes, let's save the shark. And these are about the terms. And there is also a really fun video that I've shown you guys about a fisherman who saved a shark. And now that shark, she follows him all around when he's in his fishing boat. She said thank you. So sharks are smart. And that one was smart enough and kind enough to say thank you. You know, some of us aren't even that smart when someone helps us to remember to say thank you. Not everyone is. It's a good thing to be, don't you think? Yeah. All right. I like being smart. Yes. Well, thank you for reading this book with me. And I'm so glad your friend got that book for you. That was fun to read. Mm -hmm.